We're gonna be looking at the richest cities in Florida. I spent the entire day today looking at the most expensive properties in Florida in which cities had the most million dollar homes. So the metric that we're using is looking at the number of million dollar homes or above that are on the MLS for every single one of these cities. And we're gonna group them into metropolitan areas or regions within a metropolitan area so that you guys can understand where the biggest or the largest conglomerates of million dollar real estate in the state of Florida. The reason that I chose this metric is because I want the real estate in Florida to reflect where the wealth is. Being that so many people own real estate in Florida, but they don't live here, it's almost impossible to get a real accurate measure of where the wealth is. Look at real estate as if there were money in the bank. So where's the most money at? That is what we're going to find out on this video. I also love how this is live. We're literally looking at how many million dollar houses are on the MLS at this exact moment, not income statistics. Like if that even mattered in Florida, it doesn't. When you're looking at people that have a huge net worth, how much income they're making in the last year is almost so relevant, especially these are second homes. So I feel like with this metric of just how many million dollar houses are on the market gives us a great idea of how much money is actively moving in all of these places. We're also going to find out what the most expensive houses are in each of these markets right now and there's one house on the market right now in florida that is so expensive it's unbelievable i don't see anybody short of an outright billionaire being able to afford this particular property which sits on its own freaking island all to itself so this video you're about to watch is going to give you an incredible insight into the largest and wealthiest real estate markets in the state of Florida. Let me just put my seal of authenticity on this metric of million dollar houses per MLS being that it's my own original concept as having this as a metric to gauge cities in Florida for online lists. Being that every time I come up with a unique concept or unique metric, other YouTubers, especially the ones that are supposedly realtors, like to knock off my concepts and run with my ideas like if they were theirs. Number 10 is Tampa, Florida. Currently, there are 472 homes in the Tampa area that are over a million dollars. The most expensive one being 23 million. Right outside of Tampa is Terra Verde, which is Spanish for Greenland. In this market, there are 35 homes over a million dollars. The most expensive one being 16 million. You'll find homes in the St. Pete area in around the $10 million mark. Like all metropolitan areas, its size, there's a lot of individual wealthy people in the Tampa area. While not on this list, Windermere, which is right outside of Orlando, has 88 homes over a million dollars, with the most expensive one being $25 million. The vast majority of people in the Tampa area are not enjoying this type of opulence. Number nine is Palm Beach Gardens. There are 323 homes right now on the market listed for over $1 million. The most expensive home being $25 million. Palm Beach County is no stranger to wealth and nearby Wellington has almost 200 houses that are worth over a million dollars. The most expensive one here being $31 million. About 60,000 people live here. 5% of the population is Asian, which is very high for Florida, and about 12% of the population is Hispanic. Palm Beach Gardens is home to a few professional tennis players. You may have heard of Serena and Venus Williams. They were actually at a public event in West Palm Beach that we were at, and they shared their lunch with us. Number eight is Jupiter, Florida. There's 327 homes here, over a million dollars. The most expensive one being 
$55 million. Jupiter Island is also known to have a lot of very expensive real estate. There's only 18 homes here worth over a million dollars. Most expensive one being $43 million. If you're looking to spend over $20 million, you'll have quite a few homes to pick from in Jupiter Island. Perhaps you'll be able to afford having famous neighbors like Tiger Woods. Known to be one of the most beautiful cities in Florida, the sheer number of million dollar homes for being a place of only 60,000 people means that having a very large network is almost normal here. Definitely a beautiful place. Number seven on our list is Boca Raton. Not surprisingly, this is also in Southeast Florida. If you're looking to get some real estate in Boca Raton and you have over a million dollars to spend, there are currently almost 700 houses in Boca with a price tag over a million dollars, the most expensive being 45 million. You'll be able to enjoy being a snob, flicking off people in traffic and not having your poop stink. The nearby community of Manalapan, Florida has 34 homes on the market right now over a million dollars. The most expensive, you guys ready for this? 106 million dollars. Home to about 100,000 people and perhaps millions of New Yorkers, you're gonna need a big bag to live in Boca. Number six is Coral Gables. There's currently about 250 houses on the market that are going for over a million dollars. The most expensive one being $54 million. This beautiful community right outside of Miami is home to famous people like Mark Anthony. Could you imagine being in the Starbucks next to Mark Anthony? Many famous singers and professional athletes are known to reside in Coral Gables, and affluence is just an aspect of life here. You'll find some of the most beautiful architecture in South Florida. Some of the wealthiest people from Latin America are going to have homes here and enjoy golf courses, beautiful historic real estate, peace, safety, and easy access to Miami, Florida. Number five is Sarasota, Florida. With 730 homes, over a million dollars to choose from, if you end up in Siesta Key, you'll have almost 120 different homes to pick from. The most expensive one is currently $22 million. Longboat Key stretches along the coast of Sarasota, 153 properties on the market now over a million dollars. And if you can spend $22 million, you can right now buy the most expensive property there. Famous people here include the charismatic YouTubers Jose and Katie. They're rumored to live in the fancy Lakewood region of Sarasota. Jerry Springer is rumored to live in Sarasota. Now, I haven't ran into him at the Starbucks yet, but if I do, Mick Jagger is said to live here. Haven't ran into him yet, but according to Katie, he lives here. Number four on our list is Fort Lauderdale, Florida. There's 840 homes worth more than a million dollars on the market now. And if you have $60 million, you can buy the most expensive home in Fort Lauderdale at the moment. The coast of Southeast Florida is just littered with some of the most expensive real estate in the United States. From Jupiter all the way down to Miami, you're going to find a lot of expensive real estate. Fort Lauderdale having some of the most beautiful beaches in Florida is definitely going to have real estate that will be very expensive. Of course, not everybody that lives in Fort Lauderdale is a millionaire. I have a lot of family that lives in Fort Lauderdale and they're regular people. With incredible diversity, beautiful beaches, incredible communities, palm trees and boardwalks, it's no surprise Fort Lauderdale is on this list. Moving on to number three, Naples, Florida. Despite being one of the smaller cities on this list, 
There's over 1,700 homes in Naples right now, over a million dollars. The most expensive one being $99 million. I lived in Naples, Florida, and let me tell you, you'll run into some of the most wealthy and famous people you could imagine on a regular basis living in Naples, Florida. Working in Naples, Florida, I worked for astronauts, movie stars, owners of huge companies that you're going to have their products in your house right now. Surprisingly, some were very humble. Not surprisingly, some of these rich, wealthy people are the biggest freaking come basuras on earth. Number two is Palm Beach, Florida. Despite being a small geographical area, there are 235 properties over a million dollars in Palm Beach, Florida. The most expensive one will set you back 218 million dollars it's on its own private island but if you don't want to spend that kind of money there's another property on palm beach right now going for 150 million famous people that live in palm beach are some of the most famous people in the world like donald trump ironically i have a cousin that recently came from cuba he said he was mowing somebody's lawn like a few houses over or like doing some type of electrical work or something and he said there was like fbi agents hiding in the bushes so security's tight a lot of the people that live here absolutely hate it number one is miami florida you'll have over 1700 homes to pick from if you're spending over a million dollars, currently the most expensive home in Miami is just $59 million. If you're looking to spend over a million dollars, you'll have 832 properties to choose from in Miami Beach, and you can spend up to $150 million. In the Pinecrest area near Miami, you can have 131 houses to choose from, spend up to $15 million. And here's where crap gets real. Key Biscayne, 170 homes. The most expensive being 29 million. Fisher Island, 39 homes. Most expensive, 55 million. Golden Beach, 34 homes. The most expensive one is $100 million. Sunny Isles Beach, right outside of Miami, 511 units or homes. 45 million is the most you can spend here. If the name Ball Harbor sounds good for you, there's over 100 homes. You can spend nearly $27 million here. I was actually surprised to know that while California has much more fame for having rich people and celebrities, that when you look at sheer volume of million dollar homes, Florida really isn't that far behind, and a lot of ultra-wealthy people are choosing to buy homes in Florida and spend millions of dollars on some of the most beautiful coastal properties. Despite the risk of hurricanes, and one of my cousins that recently came from Cuba trying to go pee behind a shrub only to find out that there was federal agents there, falling iguanas, Florida man, hurricanes, None of this deters people from spending big dollars in Florida. I will say that between Fort Myers Beach and Sanibel, there really isn't that much craziness to buy properties in Southwest Florida anymore, with the exception of the market in Naples. It seems like people are coming to realize that this part of Florida is just getting destroyed by hurricanes way too often luckily naples only along the coast had severe storm surge but it's interesting to see a property that was recently underwater going for almost a hundred million dollars americanos of course nothing is stopping people on the east coast of florida where now you're seeing million dollar properties into the hundreds of millions all along southeast florida north florida cannot even compete and then notice how for the most part storm surge isn't gonna destroy properties on the east coast of florida as much as in southwest florida because the ocean there is deeper that combined with tropical foliage like coconut trees that won't grow in north florida means that north florida really doesn't even stand a chance to land on this list Marco Island alone, which is right outside of Naples, had enough properties to buy itself 
just take on the whole Florida Panhandle in sheer number of million dollar homes. So not even the Florida Panhandle with places like Rosemary Beach and Seaside really even have a chance to compete with the crazy real estate prices that you'll find in South Florida. I have a feeling though that with California there's more volume of real estate but less of that real estate being put on the market. Where Florida, people have absolutely no problem parting with a million dollar house on the beach if they can make a sweet profit. While in California, these properties are just harder to get your hands on with more strict building codes. Seems like the people that have really expensive properties there are possibly living in these properties throughout the entire year. While Florida is a seasonal thing, means the properties are just more important to the people that own them. While in Florida, they're much more tradable or disposable. I remember in around 2015, 2016, I pulled into a street in Naples Park in Florida. And all you could see were just signs and signs of all the houses that were up for sale. And they just couldn't sell them all. And then by 2020, the complete opposite happened where you couldn't get your hands on real estate down here. So Florida's like an accordion that expands, contracts. Sometimes there's huge volumes of real estate available. Other times, it's very sought after. But even in Florida's crazy real estate market, there's always room for new construction. Something that's a little bit more difficult to run across in a place like California. Alright guys, so there it is. Those are the top 10 wealthiest places or real estate markets with the most million dollar homes in the beautiful and sunny state of Florida. We're falling in Guanas, Florida man, and recent arrivals from Cuba all live happily along some of the most incredibly expensive real estate some of us will never have the opportunity to own. But let me ask you a question. If all of a sudden your rich uncle dies, you win the lottery, perhaps you marry Donald Trump or Mark Anthony, and now you have a hundred, two hundred million dollars to spend on real estate, where would you like your dream Florida winter mansion to be. And of course, you're not going to spend the entire year in these homes. These are just winter homes for the most part. I don't know if you guys know that. These aren't homes that people are living in throughout the year. This is just somewhere to come for the winter. A lot of these homes, perhaps they're only occupied for a month or two of the year. The vast majority of these homes are not primary homes. In fact, that's why I came up with this strange metric to come up with a way to gauge these values of these real estate markets just by figuring out okay what's for sale in each city because it seems like being second homes a lot of the statistics that are tied into those homes are not related to people that are living here they're living in other states so they're probably reporting their income and all of their other assets and statistics somewhere else these are just second homes they're barely here some of these homes are empty throughout the entire year. These are not primary residences. So I'm not saying you have to live in this house throughout the entire year. If you're just going to buy a second home somewhere in Florida and you want to spend, let's say, 60 or or $100 million in one home that you're not going to really spend the whole entire year in, which one of these cities would you personally pick? You know, I wouldn't buy a 20 or $40 million house. I would buy a handful of 5 or $6 million houses. I'd get one in Naples, one in Sarasota, one in Coral Gables would probably be my main residence during the winter. And then another one down in Marathon. So when I want to go fishing, I have a place to stay. Perhaps I'd get a nice home in Rosemary Beach as well. So when I want to go to spring break and hang out with some folks from Alabama, I got a place up there as well. All right, guys, let me hear how some of you guys would spend your fortunes if you married Mark Antony or Donald Trump.